Welcome to Myler's Mods, ladies and gentlemen. So this is a comparison between the Nerf Strife X and one of our community creation stripes. A bunch of people have, there's been a lot of controversy about this blaster, so, you know, comparing it to a community stripe, so I figured I would kind of help people out the best I could with this. We'll start off with the community stripe first. The Strife has been around for a long time, okay? I mean, a long, long time, ever since the Elite Series, okay? People have done all kinds of things with a Strife. You know, they put insane body kits on it, like this one here. This is a, this is a Bits and Bobbles kit from Joshua France. It, the blaster is called the Unwanted just because of all the multicolored parts. You know, what happened was that people didn't buy all of his kits, so he just kind of pieced a bunch of kits together and came up with this one and put it on an HVZ grade strife, and there you go. You know, it cost about 100 bucks. But it's a nice blast, you know, for HVZ speeds and all that. It's definitely worth 100 So, but, but as I was saying, though, no, community strife has been around for a long time. You know, there's short dart stripes, there's long dart stripes, there's stripes for body kits, there's just ones that are just naked stripes, you know, it, it all depends. Um, but to do a community strife, one, you have to understand basic wiring. Okay. You have to know how to solder, you know, and then judging from whatever speeds that you want, that tells you what kind of marus to buy, what kind of wheels to buy and what kind of cage geometry to buy. Okay. Most stripes in the community are run off of a 2S light bulb. Most stripes are also semi-auto too. You know, but however, people have put burst kits in them and they have put full auto kits in them too. PDK Films is famous for full auto kits in their stripes. You know, but it depends on how much modding you're willing to do to your stripe to get it to be as to how much money you're willing to spend. Like, if you put a burst kit in it, that's not cheap. You know, if if you put in a um, full auto kit, that's not cheap either. You know, but, but now for an average community stripe to be built, just the blaster itself, no additional parts or no 3D printed body kit or anything, is about $60 to $80. Okay, that's if you do it yourself, you know, and, and that's if you can find the stripe at a thrift store. Like this one, you know, like six to 80 bucks. That's not bad. But for me, because I can't solder because my hands shake too violently, you know, but that's a story for another time. Um, but because I can't solder, okay, I would have to pay to have one done. So, that, like I said, this blaster cost me a hundred bucks. I bought this blaster back in 2021, you know, so yeah, so it's still probably worth a hundred. But needless to say, though. That's the thing, a community strife, they're, they're way more customizable than this guy, okay? This is the Strife X that was done by Hasbro this year, minus the stock, that's why I stock from another blaster. Now, as nice as this blaster is, this blaster has a couple issues. One, the main one, the battery. Hasbro's not selling extra batteries. So, as in, you'll have to limit the play use of this one, of this blaster, you know, because with a community strife, when the battery wears out, you know, you can just throw in another lipo and you're good. However, they aren't making extra batteries for these, or at least they're not selling them. And I'm not going to spend $120 to buy an extra battery to buy another blaster. You see what I'm saying? That would be stupid. And I mean, I'm insane, but not like that. The other difference is, is this stripe is actually smaller in body to this one by just a little bit. I mean, just a little bit smaller, okay? That's another difference. The major difference is there's no in strike barrel lug. If there would have been an in strike barrel lug on this blaster, like the rest of the Strikes, the rest of the Elite line, pretty much all Hasbro Blasters, if it, they would have kept that in-strike barrel lug, this blaster would have been phenomenal. And I'll tell you why. Because then a bunch of our kits would have already fit. But now kits are just starting to come out for this blaster, and nobody's come up with a nice muscle piece for this kit either. 
Just saying, I'd like to see one from somebody. You know, but it is what it is. And until somebody designs one, then I guess I'm in the boat of wishing and waiting. Is what it is. But, you know, this is, <coughs> excuse me. The the other difference is, is this blaster here does about 160 to 170, okay? A community strikes like this one here, you can have them hit as hard as HVZ speeds, which is 130, all the way up to 160, 170. If you get a band blaster cage, the blaster will do 200. So, you know, but again, it all comes down to how much money you're willing to drop into your strike that you're sitting there wiring together and everything else, you know, it, it's, it's all comes down to personal preference. You see what I'm saying? That, that's all it comes down to is personal preference. Do you want to play with something that's already done or do you want to take the time and do it yourself or pay somebody to have, to, to have it done for you? You know, there's, there's a lot of guys in the community that actually build strikes. That's all they do. You know, the same guys that build strikes, they, they also do like ravens and rapid strikes and stuff like that, too. You know, I mean, it, people when, when, when they see a need in the community, they always try to fill it. And that's one thing. There's, there's always going to be a guy out there that'll wire stripes up dirt cheap for you. You know, there's always a guy that'll punch you the body kit that you need or whatever, you know. That's the great thing about a community, you know, and this blaster here, to, to me, it seems like it was a little lazy because all they really had to do is just put an in-strike attachment on here, you know, and they, and they really could have kept the same body feature, which they did, which is great, you know, because a strike is a tried and true platform. It really is, you know, but they just should have put a muzzle piece on here, you know, or... Or here's a novel idea. They actually could have gone with it and made a brand new blaster. But they wouldn't do that. You know, they always just reshell everything else. You know, but like I said, though, if if I had to pick between a community strife and one of our strifes, it depends. Depends on two things. One, am I going to have to am i a new person in the community like such as if i'm a new person in the community i'm not going to want to mess with light bulbs right away most new people in the community they're scared to death of light bulbs don't ask me why but they are so so i would buy this if i was a new person a more experienced player well then you're going to start to see stuff like this you see what i'm saying it, it all comes down to experience like 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 a newer player would use this all day long. An experienced player would still use this, but the one hold back would be the battery. You can't get any more. This one here, battery wears out. Boop. Unplug it, plug in a new one. You're good to go. You know? But like I said, that's it, it all comes down to personal preference and which one you would prefer. But me personally, yeah. and until they come up with some really nice body kits for this one, I would still go with the community stuff. To be honest with you, I would much rather prefer a community strike because they're way more customizable than this guy right now. But in any event, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching my um, my uh, my comparison between the community strike and the Nerf strike facts. Until next time, this is Miler's Mods signing off.